we need to apply common sense to those facts. And after looking at everything, if it calls for action, then we need to go ahead and take that action. Now, whoever wins tonight's caucus will face off against Democrat Madison Cummings and independent John Lowry in November. Republican Ronnie Thomas will run against David Slutsky for the Rio seat in November as well. Reporting live with the Newsplex, Sarah Ross. Good morning, Charlottesville. All right, Sarah, thank you. It's a decision that could help set the direction of the country for decades to come, and it may happen any day now. President Obama is getting ready to name his choice to replace retiring Supreme Court Justice David Souter. And as Elaine Quijano reports, conservatives are already gearing up for a fight. Conservatives are gearing up to fight the president's nominee, fearing what they call a hard left liberal activist. We have a, a, probably a scale. We have a, a scary nominee and then it goes all the way to terrifying to, in, in terms of what they can do. America deserves better. Already one group has launched web videos. The target? Three women believed to be on the president's shortlist, including federal appeals judge Diane Wood, who says racketeering laws can be used to prosecute anti-abortion protesters. Apparently, in Diane Wood's court, opponents of abortion or students who share religious faith get less protection for their expression. Conservatives say they're prepared to spend millions on attack ads. Supporters demanding an aggressive debate on issues such as abortion, same-sex marriage, and religious freedom. Especially alarming to conservatives, Mr. Obama's preference for someone with empathy. We want to see that, that law be equally applied and the empathy uh, talk really, you know, personal feelings getting in the mix, that, that, it's very troublesome. And in a recent letter, the National Republican Trust PAC warned Republican senators, your constituents will hold you accountable should you concede to the president's nomination of an activist judge. We certainly can't tolerate somebody that, that seem, would fit the mold of what Obama has described in the past. But moderate Republicans may not want to risk alienating key constituencies, especially if the nominee is a woman or minority. This could become po politically perilous for them and they don't want uh, another, they don't want this to become damaging for them.